I saw a lot of women come and go out of Optimum. Women who made complaints about male employees. Seems like there was always a way to shut them up. Why did you come forward today, Miss Gray? I guess at some point, enough is enough. Can you, uh, describe this for the grand jurors? It's a memo Mr. Fleming drafted five years ago. It was circulated among the male executives. I was the only woman who read it because I typed it. Would you read it for us now? It has come to my attention that there is scientific data supporting the fact that women, no matter how well trained they are, may not be mentally or emotionally equipped to captain an aircraft. It is not a natural career choice for females. The resulting anxiety can lead them to make poor decisions, which may have severe consequences, including endangering lives. It is my opinion that women may be better suited for the career of flight attendant than pilot. Thank you, Ms. Craig. You know what? I don't think you have a clue about anything you heard here today. You know how I know you just, you don't look that intelligent. And you, miss, where the hell did you get that dress? Salvation Army wouldn't even put it on the shelves. I'm sure you know you're only here because we're forced to let you in. I forgot to tell you that because you're not as smart as the other jurors, your vote is gonna count less than theirs. You're not really worth anything. Day after day, you can sense it. I mean, they don't really, they don't really say it to your face, but you know what they're thinking. You can tell because the guy in the next office, he's making twice what you make and he does half the work, year after year. You can tell because that promotion that you've been waiting for, it's gone to your boss's golfing buddy. You try to complain to anyone who will listen and one of two things will happen. You'll get fired or you get laughed at. Why? because they don't really want you here in the first place. Year after year. Until you start to believe it yourself. These may sound like rationalizations to you, ladies and gentlemen, but to me, to the women of Optimum Air, that's the sound of a woman's dignity circling the bowl. And the hand that's flushing the toilet belongs not just to the men who committed these offenses, but to everyone who knew and let them happen. Can you be demeaned by a culture? I say yes. Can it humiliate you? You bet it can. Can it actually rape you? Sadly, the answer is yes. The law states that if you take another person's property, you are committing a crime. I stand here before you today to assert that Optimum Air took the dignity, the, uh, the self-worth, the self-esteem of these women. And if you don't think that's property, just ask her or her or her or her. And after you do, I ask you to return a true bill of indictment charging Optimum Air and all of its employees with grand larceny. Thank you. <laughs>